So today we are checking out one of the most amazing creations here in Stormworks. It is a full-blown underwater base and folks, stay tuned until the end because we might have to do a little bit of an emergency escape here. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay, we are ready to go check out this massive underwater base. I am excited for this. So let's go ahead and jump down on the sub. Uh, it should have spawned down below us somewhere. Uh, we do have a special seed that they suggested. Actually, there's a buoy out there. Bet you that's a marker for the base. All right, so uh, we got a little mini sub that we can get down to the base in. Uh, we should be able to dock to said base. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, this is going to look amazing. Okay, so we are in the Argo here. So let's go ahead and we're going to start to fill the ballast. And we're going to drop down below the surface. I see a small light over to the left side. I'm assuming that might be the base. I don't know how deep this is. Like, this is going to be amazing. This looks really deep out here. Probably why they suggested this particular seed. Okay, the lights are getting a little closer. I think I might be able to see the faint outline of the base. Oh, this thing is absolutely massive. Uh, so when we get down docking procedures, we need to search for the arrows on the base to find the actual dock. Uh, we're going to at least attempt to do that. Holy man, you can see it. It's not lit up right now. We need to go in and activate, uh, I guess, the lights. Uh, that is impressive. I see a bunch of hatches. I don't see... Actually, it looks like there's a little bay we can land on. It's like a little uh, landing pad, right? Uh, I believe that's what that is. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, there's actually a railing system over here, too. I don't know if the sub's too big to pull that in. That would be cool if we could do this. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. Holy man. This is a dream. Like, this is something I wanted to see in Stormworks for so long. Uh, I've even attempted to create a couple of these. I'm not very good <laughs> at doing that, but uh, kind of gives me some inspiration to maybe do this in the future. All right, so we are on the bottom. Do we have rails on this one? Uh, I don't think this one has rails, but uh, this should work here. Uh, we're getting all sorts of alarms. All right, we are set down. Uh, let's go ahead and get our diving equipment on. Uh, oh, uh, I don't think we need... Well, actually, we can use the rope to attach this. Uh, okay, so let's go and go airlock hatch. Uh, oh, was that what we wanted to unlock? Hold on, open this. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not what we wanted to do. All right, so there we go. Uh, let's close this. All right, so we are set down and we are ready to go here. We should be able to get out. Uh, there's a hatch on the bottom. Is there a hatch on the top? There was one. Oh, was that in the main room? Oh, I guess this thing would drain itself. Hold on, let's go clunk probably doing this wrong and i probably should dock somewhere oh there we go oh the pressure uh okay uh that was not wise you're supposed to actually use the thing we're gonna die uh hold on get to the thing here open up the airlock oh we just got yeeted up we are dying right now get inside oh we died at the door well we got it open okay i'm just looking at the vehicle here just to see if we could drag this one in uh yeah i think you're supposed to come in this way and then this will drain it not quite sure. I think the sub would fit in there. It's going to be close. Might need a little bit smaller sub. Uh, I'm sure the creators have some pretty good examples of this thing going off. So here, let's go ahead and come into here. And then we'll uh, we'll do the uh, airlock real quick. Or we'll drain that little uh, dock. All right, there's your connectors there. Let's go airlock door down real quick. Boom. All right, so that's there. Does it drain automatically or do I need to manually drain it? Actually, let's close this real quick. Lights are on. Exterior lights are on. Uh, looking for a potential drain. Oh, it's draining itself now. Look at that. That is so neat looking. All right, we can take this equipment off too. Uh, actually, let's open up this one. This one's probably got water in it. All right, throw the equipment off. So we are in a sealed underwater base. Our uh, little sub is out there. It's still uh, got its little warning beacon on. All right, let's go ahead and close that there. And then here we actually probably need a... Oh, I don't have a flashlight. Is there a flashlight in here? Uh, let's get an oxygen mask just in case an emergency were to happen and a first aid kit. So let's go boom. Uh, airtight doors. Let's go ahead. Lights on here. Lock all these down. There we go. The base is officially locked. And holy man, this is amazing. 
All right, uh, we need to get our, or we need to make our way to Tower Two to activate all the exterior lights. So I gotta figure out where that actually is. Okay, we got a tower here. Uh, look for lights. Uh, maybe it's just gonna be up in the main part of the tower. Oh, is this a little lift? All right, we got a lift here. Uh, I don't know if a Megalodon would attack this thing. I'm kind of curious about that. Oh, we're gonna get crushed. Oh, holy man, that was cool. All right, let's turn on monitors. Oh, looks like a lot of these. Oh, emergency flood base. What does that mean? Does it mean the base is flooding or we need to do something here? Oh, we got CCTV monitors here. Uh, instrument backlights. Okay, let's go tower spotlights on. Toggle all exterior lights and all interior lights are officially on. So the base is fully powered up here. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, look, we have CCTV of everything in the base. Holy man. Wait, what is that? Looks like a little uh, like micro sub. Maybe that's in the other uh, hangar. Oh, we even have a, uh, a buoy cam up here so we can see what's going on on the surface. Kind of get some weather. Uh, I want to see what this looks like at night. I feel like this is going to look absolutely incredible. So let's go boom. Oh, look at the lights. This thing lets off. You can see uh, there's the buoy cam there. Man, I'm just got a big goofy grin on right now. This is awesome. Okay, so I think we need to start the generator here. Uh, let's go flick all these switches on. I don't know if that's doing anything. Oh, there we go. Uh, actually, I think we powered it off there. All right, so generators are on here. I'm going to read uh, the manual again to see if there's anything else we need to do at this base, but I think we are... Uh, I think we're good here. Uh, we can go do a little bit of a tour. I like this idea of the, the tower here. Hold on, let's go outside. Just give you guys an idea as to how big this thing is. This is no small feat here. This thing is gigantic, all functional. Uh, it's got emergency uh, airlocks that you can actually use to get, I guess, to the surface, which is gonna be cool. Okay, here we come down to the bottom. I like this at night. Uh, it doesn't give off that fogginess that sometimes you get. So we're getting all the lights just off the base, none of the actual ocean lighting. Uh, this is cool. So there's a little toilet in here. Yeah, we're gonna tour this whole thing. Uh, cause I want to see like everything this base has to offer here. Uh, I am curious. I am going to spawn in a Megalodon at the end. I want to see if it'll attack the base because that can make for really cool survivals. Obviously this base is pretty foolproof because if you just seal up, it's got double doors on everything. So if we go seal this corridor and seal this one, like it should be waterproof. Also look at all the, uh, the fluid intakes and all that under here. I wonder, is this all functional under here? I wonder if this is where they've run all the piping. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, it's official. This is my, one of my probably top 10 creations I've ever seen in Stormworks already. Like this thing is so cool. All right, so this is crew quarters. So yeah, you can pick your uh, poison here. looks like we have double bunks. What is this? I like a little, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a part of the... I wonder if that's a part of the emergency flood. There's an emergency flood button up at the top. If the Megalodon doesn't attack us, we can definitely hit that. All right, so we have like a community bathroom here. Yeah, there's a bunch of exterior doors. Maybe there's supposed to be like escape hatches. I'll read into those a bit. Uh, this is all crew quarters here. Looks like we have even more. So you got a lot of room here. I wonder if this thing would work in multiplayer. This is a locked light here. Or it's a locked door. Why is that door locked? Uh, okay. That's a thing. So real quick, this thing has a full change log. Uh, it, apparently there's a Death Strider mech in here. There's Arctic equipment. Uh, there's some nice little added things here. Okay, we are going over here. All right, so that's the ladder up to the tower. Uh, let's go this way. So we have more crew quarters on that side. All right, so this is the oxygenator. Uh, is this how we're actually getting oxygen down here? Oxygen levels, all this, a lot of dead switches down here. Uh, definitely something is working here though. Yeah, you got air oxygen level. Uh, you got the tanks. The tanks are increasing uh, in level here. So I guess it's because we turn on the uh, generator. I believe these locked doors, and let's see if I'm right here. They might lead to the outside. So yeah, these are all locked. Uh, this was updated apparently uh, to have them locked. I guess people were wandering around and maybe opening up the base and accidentally flooding it. Okay. Oh, we are uh, actually at the escape pods. Okay. These are cool. So it looks like you climb into here, Han. Do we have lights? Oh, you release them. I'm assuming you release them from inside. It's a little dark in here, Han. Uh, no, this is all release buttons. And that leads... Okay, so this is lit up. So we'll definitely have to use these. 
Uh, this is cool. All right, let's go this way. So here's the docking hub. This is maybe where we should have pulled in. Uh, I'm going to look at it. Uh, oh, I can hear our... Wait. I can hear our sub. Are we really outside of this? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's close this door. Looks like we're in an airlock here. Let's get our diving equipment on. Uh, is it safe to go out here? I don't think it's safe to go out here right now. Okay, so I can see outside. There's the sub. We can always move it. But if I go out here, the pressure is going to kill me. Hold on. Let's look up. How big? Oh, this thing is massive in here. Wait, does the roof open? What is the... Oh. Oh, you know what? I think you might are supposed to... Like, like I think you can come up between these two and come up and maybe lock the... Uh, I guess lock it up in here, potentially. Does this... Do these doors close? There's a potential this whole floor closes in. Uh, I kind of want to go into this area. There's more diving equipment on the other side. That is neat. Yeah, just kind of get an idea as to how this works. There's the arrow there. So you got an airlock here that I'm assuming you can lock into. Yeah, there's a lot of different options here to get into this facility. Okay, checking out more of this thing. Here is, the, oh, this is the generator room. Okay, so this should all already be on because I could turn this on from the, uh, from the tower. So it's on run right now. So... If a Megalodon were to show up, they would probably attack this area. I think they typically attack, like, engines. Uh, it's a modular engine right there. There's your battery tank levels. Here's your fuel levels. I wonder how you uh, actually fuel this base up. That is a good question. I wonder if it has to do with the buoy up there. The buoy is attached by a long hose, uh, which, of course, I believe is holding the buoy on, but it might also be a way to pump fluid down into the base or there might be connectors on the outside okay real quick i'm looking as to where these are hooked up so there's a big like winch on the side here this might be where the mech is that goes up there's a two buoys up towards the top uh let's travel over to this side of the base real quick okay so this is the cargo area oh this is cool what is this side hatch oh it's a big window uh you can kind of see out in the base we are really deep uh, that's pretty cool. So this might be the, the mech, uh, that they were talking about. The Strider mech. Hold on, let's see. How do we control this thing? Oh, yeah, you can see the arms on it. This is totally a mech. Ooh, okay. I kind of want to, like, activate this. Okay, diving equipment is on. Let's go ahead and get down in this. Uh, hatch is open. Uh, wait. Is this open, or how do we open this door? Probably look into that real quick. Uh, here, let's sit down in the seat. Uh, let's see. We need throttle. I gotta figure out how this thing all works. Probably wanna, like, maybe close the hatch here. Okay, activating mech. Uh, okay. It is standing up, right? Oh, it's... I think it's damaging itself. Uh, okay, so... It's a little wobbly. It's walking towards the back. Uh, it's got quite a bit of damage on it. This is cool looking. Uh, might wanna not move right now. I need to open up the outside real quick. So here, we're gonna deactivate that real quick. Uh, and then let's see if we can open up the door. We got our uh, our suit on right now. Important, fill the mech's air tank with the blue hose before leaving the air dock. Well, that is actually uh, a good thing. I mean, I guess we're okay if we're using this uh, suit itself. Crane winch, okay, how do we open this thing? So I just now noticed this is like a, uh, basically a moon pool. Uh, I can jump right out. So I just now figured out this is not a window or a door. This is like a moon pool. Like it's ready to go out. So let's see if we can get out of here real quick. Okay, we're gonna try to get out of this door real quick. Uh, should be able to walk out. Oh, there it goes. Uh, oh, don't wanna get caught here. Probably need to turn to swim mode. Oh, there it goes. All right, so the mech is actually out of, the oh, this thing runs really fast. Uh, I thought it was damaged, but it's actually uh, doing okay right now. That's so cool. All right, uh, I totally need to go to swim mode real quick. Boom, all right, so now it is swimming. Oh, okay, so you got the arms at work. Uh, you can light stuff up. Might be a little hard to see. Let's try this during the, uh, see if the day looks a little bit better here. Uh, maybe slightly, uh, you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, so if I wanna go up here. Okay, so it floats up and, oh, that's so cool. But yeah, you can go all around the base. We're probably gonna lose this thing, but. Uh, yeah, it's a moon pool, so you can go right back in. We're actually flying over this. This looks incredible right now. I like that. That's a neat feature. We uh, officially have a mech. 
Okay, here, we're gonna come down on the pad. Oh, we might run into the base here. Uh, probably wanna deactivate swim mode when I'm up here. Oh, geez, don't hit the tower. Don't hit the tower, Komodo. Uh, oh, swim mode, oh, no, oh, there it goes. Uh, all right, we're dropping down. That's probably a, I'm moving a little too fast. I don't wanna crash into the actual base. But yeah, we can actually uh, walk below it too. The, uh, the base is high enough off the ground or the sea floor here that we can walk below the, uh, the pylons. That's so cool, I like this. Okay, so we are back in the tower here. You can see, uh, actually it gives us a little weather uh, station over here, which is pretty cool. Generators are running, everything looks good. There's even a little map over here. This is pretty cool looking. So, I got a couple questions here. Will anything attack this base? I uh, may or may not have spawned in Megalodons to see if they will actually try to uh, destroy this base. Uh, I'll be curious. Oh, I see it. Oh, it is coming directly down. All right, so it's obviously aware of the base. Like it wouldn't normally just go directly to the sea floor. It's out there. Is it gonna attack this thing? Uh, I really want an excuse to use the escape pods here. You know, while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and do the Kraken too. Let's do both of them. Let's see what we can get to attack. Is there any alarms for them? Like a Megalodon or a Kraken in the area? I don't see anything. Dude, look at the size of that thing in comparison. Oh, there's actually little sharks too. Uh, to the base so yeah if that thing hits the right part of the base it might catch it on fire uh that would be frightening they have a fire breakout in this thing i guess the airlock doors would actually keep a lot of the base safe uh just really depending on what the shark hits uh but yeah it's definitely circling the area i called it oh i called a kraken in i don't see it uh i'm assuming it would attack this too hold on let's watch the megalodon swimming away right now so i'm kind of curious if it's going to come in and try to attack anything in the base hey he's hungry he's a little bitty shark it's kind of coming in it's looking uh maybe trying to hunt the player it's gonna is it gonna go into the moon pool area that'd be cool if it went through that door okay looking up at the buoy nothing up there i don't know where the megalodon went it swam away okay let's release one of the skate pods real quick okay click and hold wait okay where is the escape pod hold on look for the hatch so oh that is actually a really big pod you can fit a lot of people in that so there it goes it floats up to the surface so that's how that works uh definitely want to be in one of them when it releases that's cool though so it sealed itself and released up to the surface so i've been waiting around for like 10 minutes to see if anything would attack this i don't think there's anything in here that the megalodon wants to attack uh so that's the thing also the kraken i don't even think it appeared so you're telling me we're safe i mean there is one thing i can do to try to assure we get attacked also real quick you guys got to see this so look the escape pod came up to the surface it's right uh within view of the buoy it's got to be by design i would think okay so just to test interest uh, i might have spawned in like eight megalodons from the mission editor and they are definitely down here. I like how they go straight down uh, to the bottom of the ocean, but it's a question of, are they gonna come towards the base? Uh, keep an eye out. If not, we might just have to flood it and do an escape via escape pods. Well, this is kind of creepy looking. Yep, they don't have an interest in the base. So we're clear there. Uh, so I guess the next plan of action is to click the button here that's behind a lock button. What is this for? Is there any instructions? Emergency flood base. Is that to seal the base or is that to literally flood the base? Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. We're about to figure it out. Oh, let's go down into the base real quick. Um, is it flooding or did we seal it? There's a chance we sealed this thing. Probably want to be in near the... Uh-oh. Okay, that is a button that floods the base. Um, that's not good. Okay, we are down in the, uh, the escape pod room. I did see a shark outside. Hold on, let's look. Uh, there was definitely a megalodon, like, up against the base. I don't think they're attacking it. Uh, it might just be curious. Oh, it's over there just doing a handstand in, in the water. Uh, okay, so this escape pod area isn't flooding, but the rest of the base is. So let's go ahead and climb into here. Let's see how these things work. Actually, I should probably just get in the padded seat. 
Okay, grab an oxygen mask. Where is the release for this? Is it manual? All right, so here on the, uh, the door. Uh, zoom out real quick. So the base is currently flooding. There is a shark attacking it right now. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. It'd be cool if the base released itself and would float to the surface. That's not a thing, is it? I don't believe it is. Uh, but yeah, we should probably release. So couldn't get the sharks to attack it, but we're good to go. Three, two, one, click. All right, it's sealed. And here we go to the surface uh, via escape pod. That is awesome. Uh, I was kind of hoping it was going to have like a rocket, but the floating method works too. I just wanted to fly out of the, uh, out of the sea here. Look how deep that was. That is insane how low that base is. Wait, what was that noise? Uh, oh, I thought I heard something. Uh, and look, we're up here by the buoys. This would be the greatest moment if a Megalodon were to attack the pod. That would be uh, definitely something. Yep, you can see it down there. This is by far one of my favorite creations here in Stormworks. Like, I've seen some underwater bases, but none to this scale. Uh, very, very awesome creation. You guys should totally go check it out. Uh, really easy to spawn in. Uh, you can turn off shadows if it's not running good for you, but yeah, definitely check it out in the description. We'll see you guys next time.